Hey you guys, it's me Kiana yet again today. I'm trying to go ahead and do all the videos while Pootie's down for his nap. That way I can have some time with Chuck today. So, um, Chuck, I heard you laughing. I heard you laughing. Love you. <laughs> Love you too. Anyway, I wanted to come to you guys because I wanted to talk about something else. You see I did um, a video already about something that was on my mind. And if you haven't read, uh, listened to that video, please go to it because I'm just a nut sometimes. But, yeah, it's valid. It's, it's, re it's valid reasons for me to act like that on some of these videos. So, yeah. You want to know what I'm talking about? Go back to that video. It's right before this one. But right now I wanted to discuss something that was on a serious note. Um, a lot of people ask me often uh, because they have either been new to my channel or B they've been through the whole um, duration of me being on YouTube which is now about six and a half seven months and they um, have followed me all this time and they have went back and you know um, partaked on some of the videos that I told my testimony how I used to be homeless and I was actually homeless two years to this month um, ago and um, so I've come a long way um, and a lot of people want to know how I'm able to not only own my own business now but also businesses I've had um, over the years since I was 21 years old. Um, so I've been owning my own business for, I've never thought about it in the form of years but I've been owning my own business almost for about 30, I mean about what, almost 20 years. Yeah. All, hmm. Yeah, I've been owning my own business for about 17 years, 16 years. So, I've always owned my own business. Um, I've worked off and on um, at certain jobs, and it had to be worth my while if I went out and actually worked on a um, traditional 9-to-5 job. Um, it had to be worth my while. For instance, I worked um, in the midst of, in between me owning my daycare center, um, I worked before that, prior to that, I used to work actually I was uh, the floor manager for fraud department overnight at MasterCard MBNA America to be exact um, so when I um, left that job I went directly into owning my own center my own daycare center um, and that job was between my home daycare um, I was a military wife at the time my ex-husband was in the military and he also worked for um, IBM so I have always, like I said, owned own my own business, and a lot of people want to know how I'm able to do that. Well, I hope this helps you in some way, shape, or form. I hope this allows you to think outside the box, to be wiser with your money. Um, I've never received a grant for any business I've o ever opened. I've owned or co-owned a um, computer shop um, in Essex, Maryland with my ex-husband. Um, he was a certified A plus certification and um, networking and all that and he opened up a shop and I co-owned that and I actually ran that with him that's part of why I hate computers so much today but that's another story um, I like I said had a home daycare where I had that in the basement of my home uh, many many years ago when my children were young and I was homeschooling them um, and besides that I also um, own, like I said, a large center, and now own a transportation company, which is under the license of having a sedan and limo service. Um, and we are geared towards, KSC Transportation is geared towards um, doing visits to jails, um, where we take visitors to um, the surrounding uh, counties and the surrounding jails in the area of Maryland, um, and outskirts of Maryland as well. We also do um, nursing home trips, uh, we do senior citizen building trips. Um, when I say senior citizen buildings, I'm talking about the seniors that live in the building. Um, we do casino trips. We do uh, bingo halls. Um, all of those kind of things. We also do, um, Chuck enjoys this part. We do picking up for parties uh, where if you are having a party, we pick up and pick all your guests up, take them to the party location, and then drop them all off. This is great for... Uh, people that like to drink. This is great for people that have a lot of friends that don't have transportation. We also do um, bar transportations where 
um, they attach it to the bill and Chuck is outside and our other driver is outside in his van as well um, not all the time we do this but yeah special times where they know they're gonna have like a Super Bowl or something like that at the um, at the bars local bars and they attach it, the, the fee to the bill and we take them home so we have a lot of things that's why when you see me actually in between these videos I'm actually um, even though I'm able to do a lot of videos I'm actually running a business besides that so I'm able to answer all of your messages I answer them all but it's extremely te um, tedious for me to do so um, at times because I do not only run my home as a business I also run our business and I am the backbone of the business because I'm the one that actually seeks out the contracts I'm the one that actually maintains the con contracts and the relationship between um, KNC as well as with the managers of the, most of these companies or places I'm the one that also uh, um, does the recruiting I'm the one that does the dispatching I'm the one that does all of that um, the books the records although um, I do quarterly have an accountant that I have been dealing with since I first opened any business um, and no matter where I live or how far I live I still have keep her as my accountant um, but that's only quarterly so I have to maintain everything until then until it's time to go and turn my books over to her and stuff so it's a lot that I do it's a lot on my plate um, I make it look easy it's not that easy um, but I do I, I am very wise with my time now enough about telling you the background of what I've done what I'm doing now I'm gonna tell you how I got to that what I do is when people get income taxes and they're all planning out what they're going to buy as far as clothes and hair and makeup and they're going to get you know Sephora makeup and they're going to get um, you know this matte palette and they're going to get 25 of those and 30 of these instead of doing that what I automatically think is when the government is going to give me any money whether that's money that I didn't necessarily um, pay by getting earning her credit at years ago when I used to get it um, or whether that's money I'm getting back from putting it into the system I automatically think of how can I extend that dollar how can I make that dollar work for me not just this month that I get it but for the entire year until I get it again now again most people are ready to go out and spend and I think that's a poor mentality way of thinking and I say that because I was once there as well I think that that's a poor mentality because when you are poor or when you're not well off or when you're not financially stable you automatically have this mindset of when you get money you're ready to go blow it why because you don't know how to handle having it it's not that often that you have an abundance amount in your hand so when you get it it flies right out because you're automatically trying to get all that you can it's almost like when somebody's on a diet how your body when you finally do eat it tries to hold on to the fat so therefore starving works against you because your body doesn't want to starve so when you do eat it holds on to it and doesn't want to let it go well that the poor mentality is almost the opposite of that when you finally do get it you don't know how to handle it you don't know how to be wise with it so it automatically goes out of your hand because you're trying to buy and get everything that you always wanted for the last so 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 many years or whatever or months so um, the way that people maintain their riches if they are well off I do believe is because they're wise with their money not necessarily that they have a lot of it um, so what I've done is whenever I got income tax I always again made sure that I did something that was going to support me all year long and what I do is before I get income taxes I research thoroughly and do trial runs and test runs and you can figure out basically yourself on how you can do that on whatever um, whatever you want to branch business you want to branch off in and what I did was I did my trial runs and my test runs to see if it was going to basically um, be productive for me because I don't want to embark on anything that I know more than likely is going to fail or it's going to be extremely hard for me to do so that's one thing I do the other thing I do is I try to look for some some kind of business that's going to have very little, little overhead 
I recall when I used to own my daycare center, um, I'm, my da my home daycare, my overhead was extremely um, lower than when I had an actual center where I had to pay for commercial space, commercial insurance, um, all that kind of stuff. Um, I had to, of course, get items that was in a, uh, a larger larger scheme than um, because of the licensing board. I had to get more items and I had to get certain kind of items. So the overhead was much, much, much higher than having it in my home. Um, as far as starting off, I would always suggest that you start off with something that has very little overhead. In the example of having a daycare. Instead of trying to go out, even if you had the credentials to own a daycare center, which is having an AA degree or a um, bachelor's degree in early childhood development or education or child psychology or whatever, rather than taking your education and opening up a center right off the bat, start with a home daycare. People would love to have a person with those credentials, but yet in a home setting. It gives you very little overhead because you're already paying for rent and everything. It gives you a tax write-off because you can use your rent, your phone, your bg &E as a write-off to run your business. Um, it's a home setting. You usually get can charge almost the same amount as a center can, especially with the credentials you have. And especially you get the flexibility of having the own, your own hours, your own vacation time, your own paid holidays and all that. Um, so I would look into something that has very little overhead. Um, I recall when we used to um, didn't live here. We lived we 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 chose this place because even though it's much smaller than the place that we lived before, before this we actually lived in a gated community in a condo gated community um, that actually had Patapsco River outside our back. We could fish off of our patio. That's how close to the river we were. Um, and we moved here because we wanted to be able to live below our means so that we can still run KNC transportation. Um, but that place was actually um, for mainly because not only because we lived there, it was zoned for uh, also having a, a business out of it as well. So that area was zoned for residential as well as com commercial. The thing is, it we paid heavily for that. And I figure we don't have that zone space we still can run you know our transportation company yes we're running out of a residential area but we technically didn't have to have commercial space to do so um, although it was nice and it was very professional to have that um, really nobody really knew that it was zoned for commercial because it didn't look like it so I'm saying that to say that we cut our costs by making sure our overhead was not as as um, hard on us as it wasn't as hard on us as it is now by reducing it so we um, so that's another thing you can also do which is like I said check for your overhead make sure your business um, is has little overhead another thing you can do is um, make sure you start off small don't always start off large or big or grand um, you're not going to become a millionaire, uh, and you're not going to do that overnight at least. So make sure you start off small. Also, another thing is you can also work, take your extra money, and put that aside so that you don't always have to work for someone else. So you always don't have to live out someone else's dream. Because in essence, when you're working for someone else, you are living out their dream. This person had a one day a vision or, or, or a thought of opening up a company. And you are vital to that company because you are making his company work, his vision, his thought, his dream. And so, therefore, you are living out someone else's dream when you're working for someone else. And if you would like to one day live out your own, then you could do so. But start small. And also, take your money, be wise with it, take your income taxes, and invest in yourself. Why not invest in yourself when you invest in so many others every day? So I hope this video helps you guys. I hope you comment, rate, subscribe. Um, use this information and apply it to your life, to what you like to do, to what you're blessed and gifted with. And be creative and be wise and be blessed.